with the fallout from the surprise resignation of President Trump's chief economic advisor, Gary Cohn. Stocks are falling as we speak. They're off the worst levels. But as you see, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is still down at this hour by 270 points. It's a loss of 1%. Investors clearly trying to game what that departure means to the markets. For more insight on that and what's really happening inside the Trump White House, let's bring in President Trump's former communications director, Anthony Scaramucci. Anthony, welcome. Hey, Scott, thanks for having me on. It's good to have you on. You know uh, Gary Cohn well. Uh, the markets are clearly on edge. What do you make of his resignation? Well, listen, I, I, I think the world of Gary, I mean, he added an enormous amount of value during the tax plan. He's a, he's a as you know from his experience at Goldman Sachs, he's a great team builder. Uh, he's incredibly smart on markets, arguably one of the smartest people I've ever met in my life on markets across the spectrum. And so he added a tremendous amount of value inside the White House. And, you know, one of the things about the White House, which we all know, uh, we serve at the discretion of the president. Uh, for me, it was uh, to serve for 11 days on the 12th day. I was no longer serving at the discretion of the president. And so I think uh, there was obviously a conversation there, and Gary decided that this was a good time to leave. Um, and as the president has mentioned, he'll, he'll find somebody very, very capable to replace him. But Gary did an amazing job on the tax plan, uh, amazing job of giving a lot of advice. The economy is doing very, very well. The policies that the president has put together on the economy uh, have resounded in not only economic growth, but real wages, Scott. Uh, it's reflected in the stock market. There's a little bit of volatility uh, as we get the, to a resolution on what a potential tariff would look like, although I think the president, Peter Navarro, and others inside the White House have been very clear that they're really just looking for symmetry and fairness across the board on trade and not necessarily anything more than that. And so uh, as your analysts know and as people around Wall Street know, for 71 years or 72 years since the end of the Second World War, the United States has had uneven trade deals with many of the now Western or Asian industrialized nations. And all the president is saying is that it's unfair to our workers. It's unfair to the average American middle and lower class families. And so no problem. We'll go with a symmetrical uh, trade fairness, uh, but you have to sort of lower your tariffs, uh, increase the quotas of goods and services flowing into your country from the United States. But you have, so, Anthony, I mean, you, I, have, you have just articulated um, trade policy in a way that the president uh, to this point has not. And that's one of the reasons why the markets have been so on edge ever since the president began talking about tariffs last week on what seemed uh, to many people like a whim. Well, I don't, I don't think it was a whim. I mean, if you go back over 20 or 30 years uh, as, a, as a business person, even taking out an ad uh, as long ago as 1987 in the New York Times, the president has called for when he was a business person, more fairness, more evenness in the trade situation. Um, I think I think we're we're all being a little bit unfair to the president and jumping the gun right now. At least the markets are in the sense that uh, he's a very smart business person. He's proven to be an incredible negotiator. Um, I think he's just trying to send a message to people. Look at what he did on NATO. Sent a message to people. Listen, you guys are below your two percent on the uh, GDP allotment. You signed the treaty. You've got to start bringing yourselves up to that level. Uh, he's the first president really to push that. That is starting to happen, uh, which is strengthening um, that that sort of commitment to NATO. Um, and I think he's basically saying the same thing here. Um, I think we have to wait. I think what, what's happening here is markets were probably overreacting um, to the uh, the shock of the idea of potential tariffs. Um, but I think what the president said yesterday from the Oval or I, I don't know exactly where it was from, but he basically said that uh, there won't be a trade war, doesn't see a need for a trade war. And so I think we got to give him some credit that he's a very good negotiator. I think he's looking out for the interests of the American people, looking out for the American workers. Um, and I think that he wants to right-size this and get it fair for America.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.